With Easter right around the corner, of course you have to have some type of special dessert. And I know this is something that doesn't seem maybe that original, but these lemon-filled cupcakes are absolutely delicious. And while the combination is classic, these are a new take on it, and I think you are absolutely going to love them. And to top these delicious cupcakes is a simple seven-minute frosting, kind of like a meringue, kind of like a marshmallow, but absolutely delicious. And if nothing else, just make the frosting and eat it out of the bowl. I'm joking. Make the cupcakes, because who doesn't love a cupcake? To start, you just want to put some flour into the bowl of your electric mixer. Usually I would use cake flour, but since these are cupcakes, I want them to be a little bit more sturdy, so I'm using regular flour. Next, just put in your sugar. Next, you want to make sure to add your baking powder. Since this is a yellow cake, it doesn't have as many whites in it, so you need the baking powder to actually give this some lift. Finish with a little bit of salt, of course, like every baked good, and then let the dry ingredients mix together in the mixer. Once the dry ingredients are combined and smooth, you just want to add your butter. I just like to cut it up in tablespoon-sized pieces and just throw it in one at a time. I know this is a little bit different way to cream butter for a cake, because usually you're doing it with the sugar and you're beating it until it's really light and fluffy, but this is the reverse creaming method, and it is so delicious to use this for a cake. So throw the butter in one piece at a time. You want to make sure it is definitely at room temperature because otherwise it will not mix in. Once the butter is mixed in, it will become like a coarse meal, almost like a cornmeal would. So just pick it up and look for the little pieces of butter that you see. Then you know you're done. Next, you just want to put your wet ingredients together. To start, you just want to put one whole egg and then three yolks. Since this is a yellow cake, it is heavier on the yolks because that's what makes it yellow and it also gives it a richer and deeper flavor. Just whisk those together until they're broken up and then pour in your milk. Now when I bake, I always use whole milk because it adds the best flavor. You can use different milks, but if you want a delicious baked good, you might as well go all the way and use that whole milk. Finish it off with a little bit of vanilla because that is really just gonna bring out all the other flavors and oh, I love vanilla. And then just whisk that together until it's well combined. With your mixer on low, just slowly pour in your wet ingredients and then turn up the mixer and let it beat until it is really well combined. You don't want any large chunks, but you will see slight little pieces possibly of butter and that is completely okay. Once it is completely mixed, just remove the bowl from the mixer and then clean off that beater. You don't want to leave any of that batter behind. That's the good stuff. You could look it off too. But I'm not saying to eat raw eggs because, well, people think that's bad. Just have ready a 12 cup muffin or cupcake tin and line them with little liners. You can choose whatever liner you want. You can get festive if you want since it's for Easter or you can just do the plain paper. I like to keep it simple so I just use these parchment colored paper ones. Evenly put batter into each of the papers. I think it's easiest just to use a large scoop for this. You can totally spoon it out or just pour it out but this is the easiest and there is no mess with it. and then put it directly into your preheated oven. Once they're in the oven, you just wanna bake them until they are puffed, lightly golden, and set. Each oven runs differently, so even though I put down a time to let them bake for, make sure to watch them carefully and check them before the time given because you never know what your oven bakes at. Once they're done, just pull them out, let them cool in the pan for a few minutes, and then remove them onto a wire rack to cool completely. Now, if these cupcakes aren't good enough on their own, which don't worry, they are, these are an Easter treat, so we are gonna fill them with a delicious lemon curd. Now, if you don't have a favorite lemon curd recipe, make sure to use mine. It is a basic and one that I think you will definitely love. There is a link in the description below. Just click on it and you can make delicious homemade lemon curd. If not, you can of course use your favorite pre-bought, but honestly, watch the video, it's so easy. To fill these, I just like to take a knife and make a big circle cut, kind of going down to a point, pull it out, and then put a scoop of lemon curd in each cupcake. You can go as deep and take out as much cake as you want, but I like to make sure there's still quite a bit of cupcake in there because um, that is the delicious part. 
And then I like to put the caps back on. So just take off the excess cake so they fit on over the lemon curd and then top them off. Like I said, this is made with an amazing seven minute frosting. I'm sure you guys have heard of seven minute frosting because it is extremely easy and so delicious. So let me tell you how I did it. In the bowl of an electric mixer, put your egg whites, some sugar, some corn syrup, a little bit of salt, and a pinch of cream of tartar. Set the bowl of the electric mixer right over some simmering water on the stove and whisk it constantly. When the mixture registers 160 degrees, you know the sugar is dissolved and you can remove it from the stove. Put it directly onto your electric mixer and whip it until it is extremely stiff and sticky. It takes about seven minutes, thus the name. Add in just a little bit of vanilla and then whisk it till it's completely incorporated. Remove it from the mixer and put it right into a piping bag. Now you don't have to pipe it on if you don't want to, but come on, they look beautiful. And if you have one, you might as well use it. You could just spoon it on though and have it look really rustic. I love to brulee the top just slightly to get those little peaks and valleys and corners, a little bit of color, because it just looks delicious that way. And it's kind of like a little meringue pie that way too. If you don't have a kitchen torch like I do, you can do this in the oven. It can be a little scary and you wanna watch it really carefully because they can burn very quickly. Okay, I shouldn't say scary. You just wanna watch out so they don't burn. But if you have a torch, it really does work really well and it's quick. Once they're done, you're ready to go. These are delicious and they really are such a fun treat. And I know it seems like a few steps, but I hope you can also see that this is extremely easy and anyone can do this, I promise. I hope you have an amazing Easter, a beautiful meal and family to get together with, and hopefully you will be enjoying these lemon-filled cupcakes. If you agree and like this video, make sure to click like below and click subscribe to become part of the Gray Boxer channel and be up to date on all of our videos. Leave a comment, I love to hear from you. Happy Easter. To finish these off, after my frosting is on, I love to brulee the top. You can do this under your broiler if you like, but you have to be really careful and make sure it's quite away from your broiler because they can burn really quickly. So a little kitchen torch really does work well. I know you don't all have one, but I have nothing to say for that. <laughs> I have nothing. I won. I don't know. Let me say something different. <laughs> no, I'm going to say something different. I don't know what to say.